Hi, this is Jake with LifelinePetSupplies.com. Today we're covering a factory reset of the multi-display temperature controller. Uh, this controller is found on the new Lifeline Pet Supplies Puppy, Kitten, and Pet Incubator ICU units. It is also the same controller that was found on the former model, which was the Lifeline Hinge Door Incubator. Um, let's get started. Okay, so there's a lot of reasons you may want to do a factory reset, but one of the main reasons and what I'm going to speak about today is um, you've, you've gone through a previous video and you've, you've, checked your, you've checked your settings for the unit to make sure that they, they correspond with the, the top of the unit, that the HD is either at 0.1 for the, the new model or 0.2 for the hinge door, um, that the CD is, is properly set, and that those aren't um, you know, out of whack too far because that heating difference controls when the heating mechanisms of the lamp or over over a heating fan um, kicks on or off. And then the CD um, actually sets the cooling difference. So that controls when the fan um, would kick on and off. Um, a secondary control for that is the P7. Um, which delays the fan in minutes, which is usually used for newborn puppies, and we do delay it uh, when it first comes to you because you don't want to draw a draft over puppies. You just want to want the unit to kick the fan on if it's truly overheating. So make sure you're following the directions, which are found right here on the top of the unit. You can also find those um, for the hinge door models in the Learning Center. We still have a link to the page. If you go to the product description page, you're going to find those that information down in the manuals and instructions, and we generally have a video tab right on the product page. Scroll down to the middle of the page. You can save it, print it, um, look at that information. There's videos. We have a ton of resources there as well as our Learning Center. So take a look at that. Um, if you've got the hinge door model and let's dig into a factory reset. So on a factory reset, basically what we're doing is resetting this controller back to the initial factory settings when we receive it from the manufacturer of the controller. Uh, when I say factory settings, that's not our factory and it resets it directly back to what we set them for when they leave. So when we do a factory reset, we have to follow the instructions to set it back to the correct parameters. So if you've got a, a lamp or your heating device is not shutting off when it's supposed to, and you've checked the internal um, HD and CD settings and those are correct, you could have a stuck switch internal in the controller. Um, and that usually can be resolved with a factory reset. Now, if you do the factory reset and you continue to see it, you need to contact us at technicalsupport.com. And if that unit's under warranty, um, we will have you send um, you know that controller box and do a repair here or uh, you also have the option of us sending you a new controller um, if that is under warranty completely covered under the warranty of the unit so let's get started on this uh, factory reset the first thing you want to do is locate the set and the up arrow buttons on the controller and you're going to hold those in at the same time you're going to see CF come up on the screen you need to be quick hit the set button move it down to C hit reset. Now we reset that unit and you're going to see it in Fahrenheit. Okay. So we're going to do it one more time and go back or in Celsius. You're going to do it one more time, set an up arrow, set again, up to F. Now hit the RST button. You're going to see that flash. You're going to see the unit go back to, to the, the current reading temperature of wherever you are in internal of the incubator with the, the sensor um, located at the back here, the temperature sensor. You're going to see that go to um, the, the current reading, the, what that sensor is currently reading. Now, to, we're going to be back at 27 Fahrenheit because we've done a factory reset. So what we're going to do is hold the set button. We're going to go back at the top of the unit. What I spoke about before, we're going to reset all those settings back to factory settings. I'm going to pause this and come back. It should be pretty easy to follow those. I'm going to do one here really quick and show you what that looks like. So hold in your set button. There's your HD setting. That should go to 0 0.1. Go up arrow, set again. That setting should be at 1.0. Set again. Up arrow to the LS, we don't set that. Up arrow to the HS, we don't set that. Calibration should be at 0, 0, and it is. Set again to go back. Up arrow to P7. That should be delayed to one minute on the uh, incubator, so we'll hit set there and back to P7, now up AH, alarm high. This is the audible alarm for high and low. Set that to 2.0. Set, that took. 
back apparel, AL, audible alarm for the low level. If it's below this temperature, from your set point, it will alarm. Go to 2.0. Set again to confirm you took that. Now hit the RST button. Okay, so now it's alarming currently high because we have it set for 27 degrees Fahrenheit, right? We set it back for the factory settings, and so it's alarming. So any button to stop that. Now we just push and release quickly the set button. And now we're gonna hold in our up arrow to take this up to the recommended heat setting for this, the Lifeline Pet Supplies Puppy Kitten and Pet Incubator. And that is 89 degrees Fahrenheit. On the hinge door model, we generally recommend 86. Um, because we calibrate that to the lamp, the center point is slightly hotter in that unit. Where, where that light comes down, um, works kind of like a natural environment. The new pu Pet Supplies Puppy Kit and Pet Incubator, the TAN model, um, that that unit uses uh, a similar technology to the ARCOM models. And what I'm doing here is showing you, if you hold in the button, it'll move much quicker when you need to, you need to move through a large number, um, go from like 27, you know, to 89 on this. So there's 89 Fahrenheit. We hit set to confirm. And now our temperature is set for that. It's set for 89 Fahrenheit. So we're back to the settings that left from here. Everything should be working. If your lamp is still staying on or your heating mechanism is staying on, not shutting off again, check those settings at the top of the controller or the settings that are found on uh, our website, uh, lifelinepetsupplies.com in the Learning Center. And that should cover... Um, that should cover everything with it. So if you've got additional questions, contact our technical support team again at technical support at lifelinepetsupplies.com. Um, if you want to do some troubleshooting on your own, you can look on the product page, scroll down to the middle, you'll find manuals and instructions or videos, or check out our learning center for additional information. Thank you for choosing lifelinepetsupplies.com.